Pin, full title. Pin, A Plastic Nightmare, is a 1988 Canadian horror film directed by Sandor Stern and starring David Hewlett, Cynthia Preston and Terry O'Quinn, who had starred in the excellent movie The Stepfather the previous year. Dr. Frank Linden has a life-size, anatomically correct medical dummy in his office, which he calls Pin. Via ventriloquism, Dr. Linden uses Pin to teach his children, Leon and Ursula, about bodily functions and how the body works in a way the children can relate to without it being awkward. Dr. Linden's interactions with the children are otherwise cold and emotionally distant, and his ventriloquism act is the only sign of a more warm and playful side to his nature. Unknown to Dr. Linden, Leon has come to believe that Pin is alive. Due in part to his mother, who discourages Leon from playing outdoors or bringing anyone home, Leon has no real friends, and sees Pin as the closest companion. Leon is further traumatized when he secretly witnesses his father's nurse use Pin as a sex doll. From that day on, he hates women who engage in promiscuous behavior. When Leon turns 18, Dr. Linden, having come back to retrieve case studies for a speech, catches him having a conversation with Pin via ventriloquism, which Leon had learned. Realizing the extent of Leon's psychosis and that his son is mentally ill, Dr. Linden takes Pin away to use as a visual aid for a speech with the intention of leaving Pin at the medical school. As Dr. and Mrs. Linden speed to the hall, they get into a car crash caused by either Dr. Linden's recklessness or arguably Pin. The Lindens are both killed instantly. Later, as Ursula sits in the back of a police car crying, Leon secretly retrieves Pin from the scene. Leon and Ursula, though grieving and orphaned, enjoy their newfound freedom until Mrs. Linden's sister, Aunt Dorothy, moves in. She supports Ursula in taking a job at the library, which Leon is against. Believing that she is influencing Ursula, and after talking it over with Pin, Ursula meets handsome athlete Stan Fraker and falls in love. Meanwhile, Leon takes his fixation with Pin to pathological extremes, first by dressing him in Dr. Linden's clothes and finally fitting him with latex skin and a wig. Leon believes that Stan is only interested in Ursula's inheritance and that he wants to put Leon in a sanitarium. He invites Stan to the house under the guise of discussing a surprise birthday party for Ursula. Leon drugs Stan's drink, and when Stan fights back, Leon bludgeons Stan with a sculpture. Following Pin's supposed instructions, he puts Stan in a bag and plans to dump him in the river. Leon is interrupted by a call from Ursula, who says she intends to come home early. Leon quickly hides Stan's body in a woodpile outside the house and cleans up the blood. To calm her, Leon tells Ursula that Stan is visiting a sick friend out of town. She believes him until she finds a watch she gave Stan and a damp spot on the carpet. The police find Stan's body, to their astonishment he is still alive. Sometime later, after Stan has recovered from his injuries, he and Ursula return to the house. Upon being shown into a room, Ursula tells Pin that she's going on a trip with Stan. Pin inquires as to whether she's heard from Leon. Ursula replies, no. Pin says that he misses him a great deal. Ursula, deeply moved, says she misses Leon too. As the story ends, it is revealed that Ursula is talking to Leon who has taken on Pin's persona. After Ursula destroyed her brother's only companion with an axe, Leon had a psychotic break which left only the dummy's side of his personality to completely take over. Leon has essentially become Pin in the flesh. Pin is an adaptation of the 1981 novel of the same name, written by Andrew Niederman. The novel eventually found its way to Sandor Stern, a director who had started off as a medical doctor who loved Niederman's rich characters, as well as the unconventional focus of an anatomical medical dummy. Stern collaborated with Niederman on adapting the book over the course of five years before getting it set up at New World Pictures. The film was shot in Montreal, Quebec, Canada in 1987, produced by René Mallow and Pierre David, directed by Sandor Stern. Stars include David Hewlett, Cindy Preston, Terry O'Quinn, Bronwyn Nantel and John Ferguson. Pin has been described as a cool, bloodless, well-made thriller with a taste for the quietly bizarre and a low-key psychological horror produced at a time when the genre was swamped with interminable sagas of invincible, otherworldly serial killers. Pin is subtle, disturbing and brilliant. If you've not seen Pin, do yourself a favour and put it on your watch list. You won't be disappointed by this well-made and disturbing psychological thriller. If you've made it this far, many thanks. Please consider hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel.